All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello and welcome everybody to tonight's fantastic dino action. I was just getting things ready, preparing, and I felt because tonight is called eating my veggies, I'm going to eat some veggies. Basically just cut up a head of cauliflower into like six or four pieces. I don't got time to cut it up into tiny bits. So I'm just going to munch on this. Yes, it's going to be good. Hey, cut. How's it going? How's it going? With some balsamic vinaigrette, you know, get it to a little high end, high class veggie eating, eating my veggies with the lands that I've added and keeping things healthy. Oh, first song, second project. Good stuff. You're making progress. Every little bit counts. You learn something eventually over time and uh, yeah, no, pretty exciting. Hmm. I don't know how the, <coughs> excuse me, don't know how well that's going to work, but ah, it's going to be a good time either way. Good stuff. Good stuff. I do appreciate it. I love doing this for you guys, chatting. You guys definitely make this. If nobody was watching, I would still enjoy it. As I've said before, uh, maybe some man lands cut, perhaps. Yeah. Nerd hobbies become popular culture. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm looking for it. Liliana Dinos? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But mainly just calling it eating my veggies because sometimes I don't use Baseju who endures Fantastic Land or Lair of the Hydra or Shatter Skull Smashing. Pretty much just using those three cards tonight. That's what inspired the name and inspired me to eat a little bit healthier than I have the past few days. Pogos and pierogies and that sort of thing. Maybe some brewing, of course, cut. Um, and anybody else watching right now or later on, I am always open to suggestions. I'll try out something for you so you don't have to, and then you can make that final decision if it's, in fact, good enough. Not too many special lands, no. We'll see. We'll see. Field of Ruin sometimes has been kind of rough, especially Azorius Control seems to be using Field of Ruin pretty often. Although it doesn't hurt us too bad. We have plenty of basic lands to grab with Field of Ruin. Maybe other decks don't use as many and they can get caught out. Oh, yes, yes. Very good. Very good. Fantastic stuff. I'm still thinking of Baseju, maybe upping that to two copies because it was lovely stuff. Taking out Embercleave last night, I think it was. Pretty sweet. Again, I wouldn't ever probably go up to three. I only have two copies of Baseju, but just one at least does the trick. That's pretty much the consensus. 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 Concession. Huh. Darmy. I upped that to two, so that's a pretty big difference, actually, tonight. Oh, I almost spilt my drink on my keyboard. I gotta move that out of the way. Uh, yeah. Pretty standard stuff. Anger of the Gods taking out more aggressive things, which I have seen recently, a sort of resurgence, especially Rakdos Sacrifice. And I want to take out Mayhem Devil... Priest of Forgotten Gods, the Witches, Cauldron Familiar, all those things. Blast Zone as well, lovely stuff. Say, you know, there's a deck where Huntmaster probably is going to die or, well, Huntmaster dies pretty easily. Sometimes I just want to take it out if I'm bringing in Anger of the Gods. So perhaps switching the Blast Zones with the Huntmaster, I still would get some ramp from this, but I would also get some nice removal. So I'm thinking I may try that out a couple times tonight. Bouncer's beat down though, lots of black stuff. Again, Rakdos Sacrifice and Jund. 
maybe I've just been unlucky and I've faced them a little bit more often, but they seem to be bountiful. So bouncers beat down. Gotta be in. Rip draw, as always. Bring in the card draw. And I say we just jump right into things. Yeah. Guess I could have renamed the deck Veggies. Eating Veggies. Hmm. I forgot the music. Opening it up and leaving it on the music, I should say. Sometimes, you know, I forget that, unfortunately, for a good length of the stream. Playing first, though. Oh, it's a little risky, but uh, maybe it's too risky, especially seeing two copies of Galta. Let's, let's start it off a little risky tonight. Hmm. Cross my fingers for the forest. At least, you know, we got two lands. Marauding Thunderherd. <sighs> not quite, but Rockfall Veil, vale, not too bad. We do at least have a third land, so next turn. Topiary Stomper, I'm thinking. Goblins, though, that's rough. Nah, I'm just going to go Topiary Stomper. Thunderherd and Marauding next turn, or just shifting Ceratops as well. Could be pretty good to stop the aggression from what seems to be Rakdos goblins, which is very nasty stuff. Could also be Jund. Indomitable creativity, something to sacrifice tokens and cheat out. Something else even nastier than goblins, because goblins are pretty nasty to begin with. Hopefully it's not a Goblin Chain Whirler. Ooh, okay. Uh, this We're going to have to watch out for Call the Death Dweller, bringing back a Goblin Chain Whirler. And Call the Death Dweller can bring that back with a Death Touch counter. Goblin Chain Whirler dealing one damage to each creature we control. Because Death Touch, it's a one-sided board wipe. This is potentially going to be very, very scary stuff. Nah, marauding, shifting. Just because we got five lands now. I think there's a very good chance we get Galta next turn. Galta for two. Well, Thunderherd and then Galta, I would think. They shouldn't be able to do too much nasty stuff. Well, you never know. We could be surprised. Double Rundevelt is not that bad. Kill some stuff, I guess. That didn't make a whole lot of sense. Although they do exile quite a few things, so maybe that's the good part. Oh, never mind. We got Shifting plus Galta. Now that I think about it, that is uh, a wee bit better. Ooh. Wow. Goblin's going to have a hard time dealing with that. Yes, sirree. I don't think the goblins do, us unless they do cheat out that chain whirler from the graveyard with death touch, but I just, well, they don't even have a chain whirler, and so I think we should at least have them here. And we have anger of the gods in the sideboard. I think we have a very good chance in this matchup. I can't believe they would sweep us next turn somehow. We can give Trample to Shifting Ceratops, which is going to be very important in the Goblin matchup. Not getting chumped out to infinity and beyond. I knew it. I knew it. They're going to take out Galta with uh, the ping from Fanatical Firebrand, but I think we still should have enough damage. Goes to show how much I play. 
but I wouldn't have expected Rakdos goblins. It feels most common in historic, that's for sure. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good, I I will say. Reasonable. But well, that's why you pack multiple copies. Ooh. There you go. Get them. Do they have any artifacts or enchantments? I don't think so. Actually, you know what I should do is besage you, get to six. Thunderherd, get to seven, be able to attack with Topiary. Oh, absolutely. Very fantastic. Amazing tech from the opponent. I think Rakdos Goblins is uh, quite scary just for that. Maybe those goblins chump block, they die, they save themselves taking damage next turn. They bring back some goblin that can deal damage, like the fanatical firebrand. With death touch, tap it. Effectively destroy target creature. That's pretty sweet. I don't think they can deal with all these. I could have another. There it is, as expected. But well, they're not going to survive. Coming up. Mm -hmm. Although they could do call the Death Dweller, I guess. They're at three. And... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's nonsense. Switch shifting with uh, Ripjaw, I guess. We still got plenty of trample. Unfortunately, I did jinx myself. Talking about the combo made the combo happen, perhaps. Uh, it is very good. Does the trick. At least I was aware of it. That does make me feel good. I knew what could potentially happen. Hmm. Cutting a little bit more, though. One Domri, at least. Ah, one Blast Zone. Oh, I'm at 61. I didn't cut enough. Okay. New meta is a Dino List at 61. Yeah, that's how you do it. Ah, we got Thunder Hurt. No sweepers or anything, but the big, hasty, powerful heavy hitters hopefully are going to do it. Eventually, it's going to do it. Maybe they're worried about our potential, or they just want to make us take a while. Rage quit or something. And I'm not going to do that. I, I got time to eat, I guess. Enjoy the fantastic music. Relax. Sit back. Get into the action. 
at uh, some point here. Should be quite decent. I bet you we'll get to five easily for these guys. I know Rifty Beats, good stuff. It's always a good night when Rifty Beats comes on pretty early in the stream. Oh, and we got anger, yep. Folks, we're set. We're in business. Yeah, we got two sources of red. I'll go with the forest. At the very least, Anger of the Gods taking out, well, not quite yet. Eventually, we will take it out with Anger of the Gods. I was thinking Darmy would unlock the potential for charging Monster Sword next turn. But I think Darmy would probably die to most stuff. Let them barf a few things. Hopefully, they swing with Fanatical Firebrand. So they can't sacrifice it, although they have Skirk Prospector, so they could sacrifice most things, unfortunately. But we still got five. That's good. Get them. And now seeing Fable of the Mirror Breaker, I may just hold off on anger until it flips so that I can take it out they could dress us yeah 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 we certainly have to consider that possibility dress or thought seize is probably in the mix somewhere you can imagine if you're dipping your toe into black thought seize is on the menu wonder what they're looking for, though. Hmm. Call the Death Dweller? Eaten alive. Oh. Okay. Rundvelt Hordemaster. I was waiting for something like that. Luckily, got a bunch of fantastic stuff their brain yeah hmm another charging keep up the pain aggression rotting would have died to anger the token from Regis or Alpha would have died and yeah I just I like this we're going anger next turn though I don't think we should be dead they're only at two lands although they do have Skirk Prospector which is uh, pretty scary Well, I don't know, I guess, perhaps. Oh no, no, I don't, uh, I don't know, I may never chuckle uncontrollably. Perhaps down the line there's going to be some instance. Eventually, when I just burst out laughing, but it is not this moment. Unfortunately, they're doing that combo again, but we're going to smoke them next turn with the thing that tends to smoke goblins. Ha ha ha. They'll sacrifice everything with the Rundvelt, or Skirk Prospector, I should say, but it's got to happen. Guess I could have played Darmy and then Anchors. That would have been better, but that's all right.
Yeah, oops, oops is right. They should have sacrificed everything to the Rundvelt. Good stuff, get them. I think we should be okay. Yes. Oh, we got him once. It's gonna be an uphill battle no matter what. Oh, rolled and smoked your doggies. Sounds good. I don't know exactly what that is. Maybe I don't wanna know. Still keeping it at 61? I realized again, last minute, and <laughs> that's that's the new meta. 61 dinos, the deck to beat. Optimal. why it took him so long to attack. Hmm. Oh, Seiju it is. Definitely marauding. I think marauding should be safe. If so, rip John next turn with the Rockfall Veil. Very good stuff. Oh, steamroll someone so hard. Okay. No, that makes sense. Man, they... Well, three to kill Marauding Raptor, it's not that bad. Fatal Push would have done it for a single... Oh, and we got the Anger to boot. Yeah, might as well be Topiary Stomper. Use up all our available mana. Get Topiary down so in the future we might be able to attack with Topiary a turn sooner. Okay. At least they don't have a Skirk Prospector, and we got a Regisort, too. That's where it's at. Do they have a t Okay, they don't have a Chain Whirler. Fable of the Mirror Breaker could put a Chain Whirl into the graveyard. We're going to cross our fingers and cross our claws. They don't. Yes, oh... Absolutely collected company in a goblin deck would be very painful stuff. But I do think I have to anger of the gods. Get rid of... Oh, no, actually, I'm waiting for... Whatchamacallit? Two? Yeah, yeah. Thunderherd reveal, rip draw. Get us to those... Or that key breakpoint of seven lands. Set up for the anger next turn. They still don't have Goblin Chain Whirler, so well, we're in a, we're in a good position. Hobgoblin Bandit Lord probably isn't blocking anybody anytime soon. We got him. I think we got him. I won't get too ahead of myself, but it feels feels all right. That will do it. Boom. Phew. Thank you, Anger of the Gods. I wasn't even going to bring it in this tonight. Oh, wow. 
Yep. I am feeling very fortunate I didn't have to worry about collected company. It's an easy enough splash. It only requires one green and pretty much every single goblin is a hit. There are a couple that are above three mana value, but for the most part, everything is three or less. It's a natural fit with goblins, I think. I think so. Isaac, absolutely. Yeah, Topiary being for toughness. You know, maybe we get to three lands with Thunderherd Migration. Continue to ramp out with Topiary Stomper or just Anger of the Gods. But it seems like turn four, turn four or turn five is usually the optimal time for Anger. But certainly Anger with Topiary because it doesn't kill it. Very, very good stuff. This hand is not very good stuff, though. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll give her a go. Yeah, could be worse. Send the queen to the bottom, unfortunately. Still reasonably rampy. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. We know this deck. We faced it last night against, uh, I forget exactly who it was, but Tamer, Artifact, uh, Kinnon, Bonder, Prodigy, combo. Anger of the Gods can really help us out against this deck, because it is not fun. Oh, oh, very much, very much. Borderless Topiary. Four copies. Good, good. Hey. Worst case, you know, it's getting you a land stably ramping. Quite lovingly. Now the question is, uh, yeah, Marauding plus Topiary Stomper. Super duper acceleration and then possibly Shatter Skull smashing next turn, although this kind of a deck really can just pop off. I would love Shatter Skull next turn to take out Emery and Kinnon. Hopefully they don't do too much nasty things. Oh, they got the Paradox Engine. That's not good. Ooh. I don't know what it is with this deck. Facing it multiple nights in a row, back to back to back. There's something up. I should have killed Kinnon. I was trying to get a little bit more value. Shatter Skull taking out two things. Now well, we might not be dead, but Kinnon using its ability to uh, probably just the land war. Good. Phew. My, oh my. Right. I guess it's not really few if they just untap stuff. Another land war elves. Hey, all right, all right. That was pretty sweet. We're not dead yet. I guess basically we're dead now. But we'll hold out hope. Hmm. 
Uh, they're killed. Uh, Adam, good evening. Good evening. Hopefully you're having a better evening than I am at this moment. Their kill is just continually playing things, untapping, exiling cards, building up an absolutely massive board with uh, Paradox Engine. Whenever they cast a spell, untap all non-land permanents. Their non-land permanents are things that tap for mana. Kinnon makes those things tap for extra mana. And uh, it just gets out of control, yes. Combo off until they get coma certainly is an unfortunate thing. Actually, that's probably it. They have so much mana at the moment. We're really... I don't think we have an out. They'll just do Ken and Bonder Prodigy's um, uh, ability into infinity. Yeah, that's that's going to do it. Oh, 100%. 100%. A grape Shot would be good, hopefully. Well, maybe they reprint Grape Shot at some point, but Anger of the Gods is coming in. Blast Zone. I guess Kinnon is too. The Elves could help take that out. Relic of Legends definitely helps turn things off. It costs three. But it taps for a mana, so with Kinnon it would tap for two mana. They can tap an untapped legendary creature to add two mana as well, because that uh, four mana in total with Relic of Legends. One is bad enough, but you can see they had two out. Anger of the Gods, though, would clear out most problematic things. Basically, see Kinnon, kill Kinnon. That's about it. Really just need to go as fast as humanly possible. We don't need Carnage Tyrant. Don't really need all that speed. I think we'll yeah, we'll do it like that. Shatter Skull, Domri, Anger. Alright. I like our chances. At least Domri, the avatar, is a pretty appropriate face for... Oh, I know what I'm keeping. Probably not going to play Huntmaster if they've gone off too much. Maybe I won't. But if they're stumbling a little bit and I have a play for turn three with Huntmaster, I'll probably still go with that turn two. But this is a keeper of all keepers. Kinnon, dead. Emery, dead. As long as we kill Kinnon, that basically shuts everything off. It slows everything down to a crawl. We really don't have to worry quite as much. Still have to worry somewhat, but... Kinnon is the key. Kill Kinnon. That should be your motto when... Or if you ever face a deck like this. All you need is something that deals two damage. Kinnon dies to a slightly swift breeze, so... Lots of stuff can take it out. Ooh. I bet they're going to pop off next turn. They're going to have a lot of stuff. Well, I'll still go Huntmaster plus Marauding this turn. Just in case they haven't gone off. If they haven't, I really could take advantage of cost reduction to do a ton of damage. They only have one land, so it might not be so bad. They have a lot of things that tap for mana, though, so... Who knows? I 
I think they would let it through. Maybe just the citizen would block marauding. Okay. Wee bit of damage. Huntmaster probably could have gotten through as well, but hopefully we get Galta down next turn and hasty. That is going to be lovely stuff. Or a Shatter Skull, maybe. Save Huntmaster and Marauding. Oh, they're really stumbling in the land department. This is good. I do not feel too bad. Oh, we got a creature. Phew. Okay, there's the queen. Boom. Yep, that's, uh, that's what we were hoping for, folks. Man, that's nice. Gonna block Marauding. To save themselves, go to one. Well, I think we got a good chance here. They're not gonna do their crazy shenanigans all in this turn with that single botanical sanctum. No. Yes. Phew. I'm just glad I played Huntmaster and Marauding. I didn't continually hold them back, hold them back, just because I was scared. Although it's very scary stuff. That game one was a nasty, to say the least. I bet they're feeling pretty bad. At least we didn't have to reveal we have Anger of the Gods, so that really could work out in our favor. Surprising them, they feel pretty safe. They think, oh, this person isn't using a sweeper. They played Huntmaster, they played Marauding. They would never have something like that. All is well. Let's barf a bunch of creatures. Oh no. They all get swept. Or maybe they're thinking to themselves, I haven't seen a Huntmaster and a Marauding Raptor yet. What's up? Maybe they just didn't draw them. Oh, oh no, it's Anger of the Gods. Yeah, yeah, I could see that, Isaac, absolutely. The Reckless Rage, 100% for one red instant speed, four damage to target creature. Hopefully two damage to rip jaw to draw a card. For sure. I love Reckless Rage, absolutely. Two Reckless Rage, two beatdown, I could see that. Yeah. Pretty good chance Reckless Rage at four damage would take out a wide variety of black base creatures still. So it's somewhat similar, yeah. No, I like that. That's definitely something I really should explore. Upping my sideboard game for sure. Eating my veggies, as they say, and... Yeah, diversifying. More answers for Mono Black. Well, Bouncer's Beatdown definitely is my favorite, as you guys know. Killing Kennen and Grease Fang, 100%. Bouncer still would be... Yeah, well... No, Killing Kennen and Grease Fang is... Uh, yeah, it's... My, how, hopefully we see that anger. Whew. Look at this. At least we saw Thunderherd. Gonna go with that Sorcerer, just, you know... 
just in case we want to go Shatter Skull next turn. Or at some point. Very good. Instant speed interaction. Something. What? Oh, I know what I'm killing. Uh, gee, uh, who knows? I think I'm going to be killing a couple Lanor Elves next turn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably the Lanor Elves. Lanor Elves sounds good. Yeah, widespread, and if you know you want to bring in the two Reckless Rage and the two Bouncers beat down, the combination of those two can still be very good against Mono Black, for instance. Hmm. Well, Kinnon has to die. Yeah, 100%. Question is, how do we want to kill him? Hmm. Shatter Skull would do it. Yeah, it's got to be Shatter Skull. 100%. Eating my veggies tonight. Isaac, Shatter Skull, saving me. Whew. Phew. This is good. Oh, and more, more stuff too. Okay. But it's still got to be Huntmaster, Topiary, and the land. All right, all right, we're off to the races. I think so, I think so. Hopefully we say anger quick. Oh, a hundred percent besage you too. I think I'm gonna do that going forward. Basically every time Shatter Skull, that's where it's at. I'm gonna eat my veggies. Basically every night, I think. If I don't eat my veggies, I know you Isaac, you're gonna remind me. And that's alright. Anger. Anger. That's not anger, but that's a pretty good heavy hitter. I like charging Monster Sword for three and Galta for two. I don't know about you. Woohoo. Maximum aggression. Let's go, folks. I hope we're not dead. We'll see. I just crossed my fingers they don't get a Kinnon. They got a Karnan. Their back's against the wall, at least. Ooh, the Aetherflex Reservoir could do us in. Nuts. I don't think it should be too bad. I think we might still be safe. They only have a potential four mana. I could be gain a lot of life from Aetherflex Reservoir, though. Ooh, man, that's getting nasty. Oh, okay, this is good. Good stuff. I think we have a good chance here. Definitely attacking with the topiaries. Boom, got him. Yes. Uh, Isaac, I am going to eat my veggies every morning, noon, and night. Because that Shatter Skull was the thing. Reckless Rage, of course, also would have been very fantastic. A lot of things. Nice. Yes, Adam, you said it. 
you guys help me as much as I hopefully help you. A very good collaborative process here tonight. There's always something to learn. There's always room for improvement. Whether it comes from myself or it comes from you guys, I do appreciate it. Man, Shatterskull. Tons of ramp with Thunderherd Migration, Topiary Stomper. Pretty good chance it's going to be a two for one. I could I could see myself upping Shatterskull to two copies. Yeah, yeah. I definitely think that deck is uh, more best of one suited. Susceptible to some painful sideboard hate, perhaps. Absolutely. When it pops off, good luck. Pretty painful hand, this one. Definitely Adam is quite a bit better. I think we got to send, you know what, you know what, I feel pretty safe. I'm going to, I'm going to keep the Regisaur. Yeah, that should be good. Oh, and Marauding. Oh, we're spoiled, folks. If we get a third land, we're extra super spoiled. Such a gamble. Hundred. Oh, oh, look, look at this. Hopefully it's not a... And they don't have a sensor. I was worried seeing two blue. You always got to be worried with two blue, but marauding for one. Topiary for two. Woo hoo. Who to knew? Or who knew? They probably have something nasty in hand. Hasty Galta next turn? Uh, Demir. Oof. At least we didn't see turn one Thoughtseize. That, it, very sick. The best. Hey, you can sample me for whatever. Maybe uh, send me a line or something and I can say pretty much whatever you want. Although uh, Galta right now is what I want. I hope. Oh. Killing her? Okay. The Queen Delicious Adam, you said it. I might do voiceover work or something, so practicing, maybe. Saying some lines, an outro, whatever it is. Family friendly, of course. I want my name to be associated with nice stuff. As nice as possible. Nice wins. Like that. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely keeping in shifting. Didn't really see anything black related for bouncers. Hmm. Hmm. I could see myself keeping it as is. Or well, Emery. Man, a lot of Emery tonight. That's that's interesting that we're seeing that pop up. Maybe it's just variance and randomness. Ooh, ooh we got a lot of nasty stuff. Huh. Send it. Huh? Um, Song of Creation, interesting. Hundred percent, it's going to be some shenanigans. So, uh, Besaidu certainly has to stay in. Thrashing Brontodon, Isaac as well. I've really been toying with that. Maybe just even starting out with Thrashing Brontodon, or just having a couple in the sideboard couple in here again at the worst case thrashing is a pretty fantastic 3-4 it does survive the three damage from anger of the gods as well similar to topiary stomper there if we continue to face these combo-y type decks where taking out one key thing could really slow them down 
thrashing Brontodon, I think, is going to be it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Commune being able to dig deeper to grab the thrashing. So maybe I do work on a commune with dinosaurs. This maybe for tomorrow night. I have really wanted to revisit commune with dinosaurs more, more often. 100%. I do like the fact that just adding your artifact enchantment hate or removal does increase the number of dinos, making sure you can use Thunderherd Migration turn two as consistently as possible. Hopefully things go okay. It's definitely looking like a better hand than the first one. Maybe I should just call tomorrow night's list the vegetarian. I'm just going to be eating all veggies all the time. A couple thrashing, the reckless rages, very, very good suggestion. Huh? So much good stuff. Diversification, that's, that's what I'll call tomorrow night. That seems fitting. Mm-hmm. When I got the shenanigans. My goodness, this is a lot of... I don't know that it's a good game. Never faced this specific deck before, so. Oh, it is, okay. Yeah. Trying their whole deck will do the trick. Hmm. Well, at the very least, this is a learning experience that hmm, Thrashing Brown to Dawn. More Besaju's something that deals with artifacts and enchantments at instant speed. Hmm. Maybe two Besaju's and then with Commune, of course we would see those thrashing Brontodons, but we could also dig for a Besaju to see it a little bit sooner. Well, try and go as fast as possible and hope we see Besaju. Ooh. It's not Besaju, but it's not bad. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, they got the turn one off. You can't refuse. They could get it. Turn two, I guess. Nuts. Ah, there it is. Oh, oh, they're already good gaming. My goodness. this deck now yeah, that's all right you know keep my cool and like you say 
I'm probably cooked, but I want to see if... Yeah, that's probably going to be it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess this has to be on my radar a little bit, especially after a very strong showing from them. Oh, see, we're not dead. Ish, yet. Their portrait, yeah. yeah. Okay, we, we're getting something going here, folks. Hmm. Mox Amber might do it, but, you know, they might not draw something zero. There's a very good chance they're going to draw something that can be played for zero, though. Maybe we get Paseju next turn. That's his Oracle. Yeah, as long as we could have taken out Song of Creation. Yeah, that would have... That's the whole thing of this deck. Yeah, I'm, I'm bringing in one more Beseju, I think. Maybe another Beseju in the sideboard. Uh, multiple things, because, well, clearly with something so key to the deck, they're going to have probably four copies of Song of Creation, I would think. Yeah, so drawing four cards each time they cast a spell is probably going to do it. That's got to do it. Yeah, no, we're not. Uh, we're not coming back from that. Nuts. Yes, yes, hundred percent. Yeah, I'm liking the sounds of that more and more. Just because I don't exactly like to besage you, but. If we really need the pain, that second Besaidju coming in, grabbing it with Commune, very good. Commune grabbing Thrashing, whatever fantastic hitter. Maybe Commune could just grab the Queen, Galta. Maybe we have enough power to play her for two and just pop off. <laughs> Excuse me. Pop off that way. Grabbing the extra land as the past year's have taught me it's fantastic commune just getting that third land on turn one we're sitting on two lands bam commune third land for topiary whatever it is commune good at literally any point in the game pretty much yeah tomorrow i'm thinking diversity dinos diversified Dank diversified dinos destroy devious opponents. That'd be a pretty good title. Maybe a little bit wordy. Yeah, well, dank devious dinos destroy. Diversified dank devious dinos destroy opponents. Something like that. There's something there. I gotta work on it. Not sure what this is. Some something food related, for sure. Gonna be nice taking out the goose. John food maybe. Mono green ramp. Snow yeah, mon snow ramp. What, what am I thinking? They have a snow covered forest and a faceless haven. It's snowy ramp.
Well, we'll keep ramping. Maybe take out the goose next turn, but I'd like to go Regis or Alpha if we get that. Yes, fatty goose deck. Hopefully we can cook the gooses. If anybody has had goose before, it's pretty decent. Quite fatty and oily, but it does taste pretty good. So hopefully you guys get to share in my cookage of the goose. A mountain? No, I was wondering about that. Yeah, yeah we're, we're good. At least two sources of red though, definitely. Especially if I want to play something like Marauding Raptor, Charging Monstrosaur. I don't really need more than two sources of red usually in a turn it seems pretty rare we're gonna have a third source with domri which feasting troll king is not so nice yikes Ooh, that's gonna be painful hmm we got some decisions to make Ah, you know what, Dommy for three. We could fight the goose, of course, which would be pretty nice, but I'm just going to go with shifting. Can't trade with the Troll King, unfortunately, but we got lots of good bodies. Ooh, they, they really don't want that. Hmm. Take out the troll, force them to sacrifice all those foods would be nice. You know what? I'm going to do that. And then if we can kill the goose, we kind of stop them making foods. I was thinking about trading the token, but I, I feel like trying for the troll king. The old growth troll would just ramp them a lot, putting it back on a land. Oh, they had uh, another troll king and that's nuts. That's not looking so good. Okay. Hmm. Well, that might be it. I never actually faced feasting troll king before. Like it's probably been since a couple months after Eldrain was released, and that's a long time ago. We shall see. Two cage in the board? I would like that, yeah. Although I like Weathered Ruinstone better, even though it costs more. It does cover a little bit more than Graft Digger's Cage. Well, uh, we got six, so the classic Hunt Master for two, Regisaur for four. And um, uh, cross our fingers. But yeah, I think if I had to choose Weathered Rude Stone. Weathered Runestone does help uh, against Grease Fang, actually. And chances are we're not going to stop anything playing Graph Digger's Cage on turn one anyways. Yeah. Not a big difference, although it is very nice having a turn one play, making use of that forest or Baseju, whatever it is, is quite valid. But just the fact Weathered Runestone does help against a wide wide range of decks oh yeah that'd be good diversification either one either one would help out greatly hmm not a lot we want to do we got to watch out for the feasting troll kings and those things are nasty try and go as fast as possible really hmm Oh, 
You'll need bouncers, anger. That could take out a few things, but you see sometimes the werewolf pack leader and just because Great Henge, it was above three toughness. Old Growth throws four. Blast zone, maybe. Okay, okay, Adam. I will do that. Ah, let's go. Go fast, yes. Yes, 100%. Okay. I mean, it's not super fast. I'm going to risk it, though. We got the Thunderherd. Domri. Slamming these guys. Hopefully Domri interacting with the goose. Cooking the goose at least this game. And, oh, no. It's still got to be Thunderherd. Don't actually have a play for Marauding. Turn three. If we draw another land next turn, we could go Domri plus Marauding. So hopefully that's what's happened. It's going to happen. Oh, phew. Okay, okay. I mean, Yorvo would just threaten Darmy, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go with it. Maybe they don't threaten him. Possibly could have waited, but I'll oh, cross my fingers. Hope for the best. Try and go as fast as possible this is the fastest we possibly could go. Mm -hmm. Maybe they won't attack with Yorvo, since it is a five, yeah. They probably have creatures to make Yorvo bigger, though. You would think. Oh, nuts. They're swinging for Domri, that's for sure. No blocks. Let's hope for a land in the Queen. Shoot. Maximum aggression. Let's go. Go fast, Adam. You said it. This is what it's all about. Oh no, we're open. Attack us with everything, please. Well, that's not good. Well, we tried to go as fast as we could, and we couldn't quite get her done. A wicked Wolf is a very wicked thing, that's for sure. Oh, uh, the too late. Eleven, twelve. Nah. Yes, it absolutely is Big Green's Day Out. Ferris Green's day out. Oh, oh, they're playing conservatively. Well, that means we get Galta. Thank you. Phew. They should have gone fast. They should have listened. believed in themselves but we still might be dead at least we got a heavy hitter we got the biggest green around the queen green is mean it is the dream
I do. I absolutely do. I definitely want to get to Topiary. Getting to seven, uh, charging would have been nice as well, but we ramp and we get a body we can use to do fun activities with. I'll swing with Galta. Yorvo, if we traded with Yorvo, that would be very nice. Maybe they're worried about what we might have in hand. They probably want to stop a good amount of... Oh, taking Galta out, I see. Yeah, well, Yorvo it is. Scavenging Ooze could get quite big as well. They were maybe thinking I'd choose Scavenging Ooze plus the Wicked Wolf, but I knew they could sacrifice the food with Wicked Wolf to make it indestructible. So I didn't want to do that. Hopefully we see another copy of Galta. That seemed to really bring the pain against them. Next turn. Gonna be pretty hard to punch through, but still having the charging. A third charging. That's pretty big. I am missing Primal Might though. Being able to take out the Scavenging Ooze would have been pretty sweet. And now with the Great Henge, that may just do us in. Maybe that would be a fantastic thing to have a copy of. certainly have enough creatures to really go off with it. Right, we can go topiary plus charging. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely not good. Well, we'll take a swing this turn and hope for the best. Kazandu Mammoth sitting at a 4-4. Four, four. Charging at least can trade with it. If we don't do anything ever, we absolutely lose. Sacrifice the food, make the wolf bigger and indestructible. At least we do take out the Kazandu Mammoth. Karn Silex, that would have been good. Oh yeah, Karn Silex against a deck like this. Come to think of it. A sideboard card? JDX, if you're still listening or watching. I know you've had some pretty good success with that single copy of Karn Silex, so... Well, yeah, that's that's got to do it. Yeah... Well, we'll stop the pain. Had a fantastic time. 
card Silex it is. Yeah. Baseju, some thrashing. Karn Silex, man, man, we're, we're going to be bringing the good pain against anything tomorrow night. But I'll still keep it like this. We're still doing some collaborative, fantastic dino building. And I will not forget the thrashings or more Besejus or the Reckless Rages. Questing Beast specifically, just seeing it at the end, being able to take out Questing Beast for a single red at instant speed. That's pretty lovely. I've seen some traditional Gruel aggro lists just, or Gruel mid-range, I guess, just concede instantly when I take out the questing beast like that. Yep. Rootbound first, just because don't have a forest yet. Yeah. Rootbound or Rockfall Vale. Rockfall Vale it is. Keep a Seiju just in case. Oh, oh, we got uh, domain uh, stuff. Ouch. Two for a four three is pretty darn good. Wow. Well, I'll probably be trading with that at some point with Topiri Stomper. Hmm. Very interesting. We've seen a lovely range of decks tonight. You gotta appreciate that fact at least. I certainly do. Stumbling? With lands? Okay. Well, we got plenty. Regisaur it is. Regisaur to make them soar. Show them the door as we mop the floor. Eventually. Leyline binding, though, that is not a, never a good sign. Hopefully that's the only one they have, because it's pretty efficient removal, that's for sure. What is this uh, five-color hodgepodge? Five color domain. Yeah, I'll take it out. Sounds good. Oh, and we got another. Another one. DJ Khaled. Another one. Another dino. Omnath probably is around I would imagine luckily we haven't seen that guy yet oh a, a ley line binding one white exile target non-land permanent at instant speed ouch yep yep uh, just a guess but I'm bringing in thrashing brontodon probably on the regular I don't want Golos. I don't want Essica. Definitely don't want Omnath. It is never. White, blue, black, red, green. Ah, uh, they got it. Right, hopefully that does the trick. Actually, what am I thinking? Besaju to take out Leyline Binding. Yeah. Actually, Carnage Time would also be good. Ah, no, Carnage Time. Yeah, I gotta save that Besaju. This is looking all right. I 
hope. Maybe. I don't know, it's getting kind of nuts. I don't think they can do too much more. At least we will be able to take out a ley line binding. All right. Oh, that's a tough one. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with Regisaur. Hope I draw another land next turn I can go Seiju for two and then play charging as well. Make them scared. Maybe they attack us all next turn. With the third ley line binding now it's gone too downhill blast zone is never going to take out ley line binding because it actually costs six unfortunately don't have a whole lot of black stuff most things are out of range of anger rip jaw well keep it like that go as fast as possible and at least we know what they got Carnage Titan having Hexproof maybe could save us. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. We got the Shatter Skull, maybe taking out Lotus Cobra. Two impactful things, perhaps. Very nice to see it. I think we're definitely off to the races, though. At least they only played a forest and it wasn't a triome. That's scary stuff. Oh, just a mountain in a forest. Well, well, well. I know what I want to do. Oh, you're tapped out. I like it. Good stuff. At least it was just Jetmere's garden. <laughs> but uh, two, four. Yep, Shadow Skull to take out Omnath. I'm not going to ask any more questions. That guy has to go. Phew. Shadow Skull proves itself once again. Hopefully they have a fabled patches because that's pretty good. Take it. Oh, 
Oh. Dryad. Ooh, ooh, I like this. Oh, Domri. All right. We beat him, folks. We got him. Phew. Look at this. Perfection. I think I'm going to keep in two copies of Darmy. He's just so clutch. Oh boy, that is scary stuff. Okay, man, man, I'm, I just want to get to tomorrow night because I'm just so excited for diversified dinos devouring dank decks deviously, indecisively. onto something always onto something always looking to improve no matter if it's been four years six years ten years twenty years i'll keep improving on dinosaurs hopefully most of you guys or all of you guys are still with me at that point it's going to be a wild ride it's going to be a good ride hopefully they're a little bit scared they know we're packing the heat a little bit, removal-wise. Oh. Adam, if that's not fast, I don't know what is. That's about as fast as I could hope for. Wow. Play. They don't have leyline binding for Huntmaster or anybody. That thing's always nasty. Fighting, removal, something bad. Just to cultivate. Grabbing a island in a swamp. Yeah. Getting that in the Shoba Brawler a little bit. Oh, interesting. They did an attack. Well, marauding, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, that's not good. Uh, we gotta... Well, we need removal for that. Beseju, where are you at? That's not Beseju, but... I do like a good old Regisaur. Hiring up marauding plenty. Probably the brawler blocking Regisaur, I would imagine. And just hope we can be aggressive enough. Lotus Cobra, not a terrible thing for a prismatic bridge to grab. Luckily. Omnath, though, that thing scares me. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Progress. Must feel nice finishing a song, too. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, just Carnage Tarrant. Keep slamming guys as big and fast and aggressive as we can. It's all right. I think we still got a good chance here. Oh, Stor hey, Storm the Festival. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? It's five color good stuff featuring our favorite Omnath Locus of Creation. Oh, not the. Oh, the song, you mean? A parody. Huh, I should check that out. Something Koopa related from Super Mario Brothers, I think.
I'm not looking too bad. They can't take out Carnage Tank. Oh, oh, we got it. Isaac, everybody watching. Beseju for... T uh, yeah, it's got to be Beseju on the Prismatic Bridge, I think. I guess it does sound a little bit like the Rugrats theme song. Now, we could take out Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Pretty sure it's got to be Beseju, though. Well, Thunderherd. Beseju now, because then they get a land in which would affect Omnath. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be Beseju now. They could just get to 10 next turn anyways, but it had to be, had to be Prismatic. To give us at least a slim chance. Now we could attack with Carnage to take out Omnath. I'm going to try for that. I think they'll take advantage in... Oh... Okay. Hmm. Int excuse me. Interesting. I do like Rugrats, actually. Man, that was a classic. Hit nothing. Not bad. Tamio can't do anything to Carnage Tyrant. Primal Might really would have been the bee's knees in this scenario. A lot of times with Carnage Tank, just because it has hexproof. They're not going to kill the creature in response because they can't, for the most part. They might make a sacrifice it at instant speed, but there's not a whole lot of things that can do that. Pretty much one of my favorite things. A giant carnage turned with Primal Might to take out basically any creature in the game. Especially if it's gone late. Floriferous Vine? I've never seen that card yet. Real land? Digging for land. Probably going to be pretty rough with Omnath gaining four life every turn. Pretty much. Yeah, whenever land enters the battlefield, they gain four life. That really slows down Carnage Tyrant's damage. Ooh. Shatter Skull. Oh boy. Well, well, well. We're in business here for two, so four to Omnath, one to Tamios. Unfortunately, we can't do six to take out Omnath and Tamios, but five, yeah. That's still pretty good. Now the question is, do I want to try and take out Tamios? Yeah. Keep up the pressure. Phew, man. Oh, I'm excited for just that extra Shatter Skull, because multiple times, the only copy I have in the list tonight does it. Wow beautiful hopefully that bought us enough time leyline binding is dead good luck leyline by ding cuz it's going to do nothing at this point Two leyline bindings. 
That's not so nice. That might do it. I think that probably does it, basically. Come to think of it, Storm's Wrath, I feel, would also be very good. Maybe, well, certainly in this situation, Storm's Wrath would have done the trick. Taken out Tamio, Omnath, Bortuk, Bortuk, however you pronounce that. Ouch. Well, that will do it. That will do another game. We, we got another match coming up. At the very least, we prove a wide variety of things that I will be bringing in for tomorrow night's devious, dastardly, dino diversity, devouring, dank decks. It's going to be good. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. That will just do it for that match, I was saying. I still got plenty of cauliflower to eat. Probably should have just cut it in half. An entire head is a little bit much. And I've already eaten a sandwich, so... My eyes were bigger than my stomach. Oh, that's worse. Okay, that's better. It's kind of bumpy. But it's something. We got there, eventually. Oof. I saw the white and blue, so you always think sensor, one in a blue, counter target spell unless it's controller pays one. Thunder herd migration being quite a bit less threatening than marauding, but also we didn't have a play. Well, now we do. But if they're holding up a counter spell, good luck. I hope. Could of course have lovely white based removal. I'll cross my fingers. Nothing at instant speed, which is nice. Hopefully, it's not the Wandering Emperor, but it is nuts. Hmm. Ooh, and the portable hole as well. Well, well, well. Minus Tyrant is going to be the trick. The secret sauce. Probably have a sweeper. Maybe not, because they're making lots of samurai dudes. Or they feel safe at this point because we don't have any creature. Oh, all right. We were fortunate. Should be good. Field of Rune maybe taking out one of our non-basic lands, but we got plenty of basics as backup. Yeah, yeah, you can't do nothing. Now they may want to dig for a sweeper or have settled the wreckage. Similar to that deck I faced last night, multiple settled the wreckages. That was up hey. Hopefully they don't have another one in hand.
I have a feeling they don't have another one, but we have another carnage. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep Carnage Turn. Four copies all the time. Just. It gives us at least a slight edge in matchups like this, which are. or would have normally been very painful. Completely painful. Sometimes shifting, of course, does the trick. Hasty. Can't be countered. Protection from blue, as always. A lovely package. Gonna try and target Teferi, though. They made a samurai, so it's all but certain they don't have a sweeper in hand. They just want to probably to protect a fairy. Shifting. See if Galta draws out that counter spell. I bet it will. But if they counter Galta, they won't have enough for Hall of the Storm Giants. That's their dilemma, I think. They've got the six required for Hall. What do they do? Okay, okay, as expected. Samurai definitely will block uh, Carnage Tyrant to save Teferi, I would imagine. Let Wandering Emperor die, I hope. Yes. Okay, good, good. I was thinking of it swinging to their face, but no. Take out Wandering Emperor, so at least we don't have to worry about Samurai tokens or any other creature they play getting bigger with that counter and getting First Strike as well. Supreme Verdict is good. It is supremely good, supremely amazing, supremely painful. That, we got something hasty. Hopefully they don't have a counter spell. I'll wait for shifting. We could get a shifting hasty. Take out to fairy. All the storm giants again can block it. Yeah, no, this is going to be... Too slow. Oh, just remembered something. What is it? Kind of like Blast Zone to take out the portable holes. Hmm. Too charging. Too Blast Zone. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Damping sphere. Oh. I've used that in the past against... Uh, is it Phoenix, specifically? They want to play a lot of stuff. Three instant or sorceries to get Arc Light Phoenix from the graveyard onto the battlefield. But Damping Sphere did really shut Is it Phoenix down quite a bit when I used it for that purpose in the past. So it was... Oh. I'm going to have to think about Damping Sphere again. I, man, I'm glad you reminded me of it. I'm always on the lookout, a reminder at least of 
sideboard cards I have tried in the past, but probably a pretty good chance I haven't tried any of them. But Damping Sphere is absolutely great potential. It would shut down uh, Lotus Field Ramp, whatchamacallit, whatever it is, but look at this power here, folks. This is the power of legend. They're not quite dead, but they're pretty close. I just have to hope they don't have a sweeper. Cross my finger. Oh, phew. Boom. Adam, if you're still watching, go fast. And that is the speed and potential. When you play first, good things happen. Well, we hope good things continue to happen. It would be pretty fantastic to finish things off with a win against Azorius Control. It's happened often in the past. We got the shifting. We got the carnage. We got the pain potential. Too risky. Uh, we'll have to keep it. Um, you know what? I'm going to send Galta to the bottom. I may want all that ramp. Oh, man. That was close. Phew. Mountain, just in case I draw a root bound. Oh, sensor. Maybe they have a couple sensors. Or they don't feel they want sensor. Or they want more lands. Say, Drew, it is. We'll try for Thunderherd. We got that third land, though, which is lovely. Good. Good. If all goes well, Rockfall Veil, and then Marauding Plus Topiary next turn. Super duper ramp, and then the two Topiaries afterwards, if it makes sense to do so, but playing so many creatures into their sweeper might not be wise. Luckily, we still have plenty. And they haven't popped off quite yet. Kind of tempted to go both topiaries next. Uh, maybe not. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is crazy. Well, we couldn't unfortunately go both topiaries, but we got lots of ramping going on. Hopefully get to, should get to seven next turn. My, the portable hole. If we get the blast, it's going to be pretty decent. Okay. Three for Topiary. Yeah. I like that. Now the question is, pop Blast Zone now. Play the other Topiary. That's a tough one. I'm just going to play the other Topiary and see what happens and hope that they... Okay. Hope they don't get a second source of white to play the sweeper that they have in hand. I'm just going to hold off on the blast and we can't put charge counters on it, whatever. If they sweep us, then that's one less sweeper and we can just go blast zone next turn, get our maraudings. Very good. But they got their second source of white, so they're going to go something sweeper-ish. Sweeper-y. They have to, to save themselves. Farewell. Nuts. Hmm. Yeah, thunder hurt for three. Here goes nothing. Sweeper. Maybe bouncing, oh, not bouncing one of them. Shifting Ceratops could do a lot. Regis or Alpha could get us to lethal. Both Marauding Raptors sitting at six power. 
Oh, oh, if we get Regis or Alpha, we may get him. Oh, it's not Regis or Alpha, but it's still pretty good, I hope. No counter spell, I like it. That is a Doomscar in hand. Um, well, we weren't going to kill him anyways. Only taking him down to six. And they still would have been left with... The, they have another. Uh, nuts. It's alright. Hopefully they didn't get a land. Doomscar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? That was, uh, I guess it was... Pretty good, I took out Teferi, it drew them one less card. Well, we have nothing to fight, so Domri, protect Regis or Alpha at all costs. Well, I know they probably don't have a sweeper, hopefully they don't. Let's just try and do the damage we can. March of Otherworldly Light, maybe. It's it's a good card. It's a good card. Shifting would be nice. Supreme Virtual. Hey. They don't have a whole lot. Shifting would be able to take out Teferi. Domri powering it up to six. Another Domri not so good. Nuts. All right, here's to hoping for shifting pretty much at this point. At least they kind of get tapped out with all of the storm giants, but we don't have too many turns left. Uh, that's a good game. Not the best game, uh, but you know, sweepers tend to do the trick against a deck like this. That's all right. We had some fantastic suggestions tonight. Some I've used before, or most I've probably tried before, but are very good suggestions nonetheless. Tomorrow night, that's going to be good. Diversified Dino action, destructively diversified dino, dank dino action, doing the trick against decks that are deviously bad. Uh, whatever. It was good. I had a fun time. Hopefully you guys had a fun time as well, as fun as I did. And have a good night, a good morning, a good evening, afternoon, whatever it is. Remember, there's always room for improvement, whether it's this or anything else you can get better even if it's small bits every time jdx hopefully have a good night everybody else peace <laughs>